Hi everyone, welcome back to Dev Doge Academy and welcome back to Introduction to Programming using Java. So since uh, we have a lot of knowledge already about if and else's, I think it's time for us to do a quick exercise. The exercise is the following. Given an age, as you know, we are going to start this age into a variable, find the best category to fit that person. So if the age is lower than 13, we are going to have the category kid. If it's greater than 13 and less or equal than 16, juvenile. And if it's greater than 16, should be adult. The restriction is we should only use one system out println. Okay, so let's copy this one. And we are going to create here another class, out insert, Java class. Exercise conditionals 03. And I'm going to press enter here and I'm going to put the comment so we can remember without giving out tab. And then let's get started by creating the public static void main method. Okay, now the first thing is we should create a variable to start the age. We can use here int age and we can give any age we want. Let's say, for example, we give 20. Now we want to store the text kids juvenile or adult based on the age so i know that i have to create here string and i'm going to say category category okay so now we have two variables one integer one string and i need to work on my business logic so basically i need to check if first the age is lower than 13. So if the age is lower than 13, what should I do? I should store inside the category, inside the memory, the value kids. Since we are only using one system print ln, we are going to store the category in this variable. And at the end, we are going to print whatever is inside this category. And now else, but we have three conditions. So else, let me remove this. Else, if the age is greater than 13, so since I didn't use less or equal them, by the time I use this greater, what's going to happen here? So I'm saying that the lower 13 is going to include 0, 1, 2, 3, up to, or less than 0, up to 12. But then I'm saying here, hey, uh, we have to also consider the age 13. So what happens if we don't use equals here like we have here? So let's see what's going to happen. Now, else if, let's continue. And because we have here greater or sorry, less or equals than 16. And age is less or equals than 16. What's going to happen? The category will be juvenile. And then else, what's going to be category adult. Okay, so let's see what's going to happen. Salt, the category is plus category. So control shift F10. We have the category is adult, 20 years old. What happens if we use 10? Control shift F10. It's Kid, what happens if I use 15? Control Shift F10. We have the category is juvenile. Okay, what happens if I use 13? Control Shift F10. And we have adult. So can you see the problem here? The problem is, and this was on purpose, if you have lower than 13, it will be from 0 or lower than 0 up to 12. It will not include 13. And here, greater than 13, it's going to start at 14. So you have to be very careful when you are doing conditions because they must be inclusive. In this case, we have a very huge gap. What happens if we are having like a swim competition and suddenly you put someone that's 13 years old into the adult category. So you have to be very careful. This is a simple mistake that for example, may cause a lot of problems. We are talking about only categories. You can easily adjust. But sometimes we're working in a financial system. Yeah, something like this could cause like a very huge problem. So we just have to add here 
greater or equals than 13 or greater than uh, 12. That's another option that we could do here. Control Shift F10 because then it's going to include uh, kids. But then what's going to happen if I have here 12? I have to be careful because then if I have 12, it's going to be considered uh, kids. So you have to be very careful when you are playing with conditions, especially when you have chain of if and else. So in this case, the best thing that we can do here is to add greater or equals, otherwise we would have to change here to 12. So here we have greater or equals than 13. So now up to 12 and then from 13 to 16 and greater than 16. In this case, 17 up will be adult. So this is a exercise, as you can see, it's simple, but because one little tiny piece, our logic was, had a huge flow. So we have only three lines, but as software developers, we are going to work in systems with thousands of lines. So as you can see, things are starting getting more complicated, and that's why we have something that we call uh, unit uh, tests. We have unit tests, integration tests, system tests, end to end tests. We have the whole discipline of testing software just to be sure that this kind of stuff should not happen. But even though we do have tests, it doesn't mean that the software will not have bugs. It's just reducing the probability of having bugs. So to finish, just press Ctrl Alt L and the code will be a little bit more organized. And then uh, we finish for, for now and let's continue in the next video. Bye bye.